to turn now to the intersection of Washington and politics and Hollywood. Have a listen. As for me, I'm just a lowly House Majority Whip. I keep things moving in a Congress choked by pettiness and lassitude. No, the bill's going to come up this Wednesday. I never make such big decisions so long after sunset and so far. Uh, that's a spoof of the popular TV series House of Cards from the website Now This News, uh, featuring real life politicians and Congressman Frank Underwood, uh, played by Kevin Spacey there. Uh, what does this say about Washington? What does it say about our elites, our society? Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan stays with me now. Peggy, so uh, is this unusual to have a politician uh, playing a, a, a fictional politician? What does it say about us as a country? Oh, it says things have gotten a little goosey and frivolous in <laughs> Washington, D.C. when congressmen of both parties are more or less aligning themselves or helping the promotion of a television show that tells the American people Washington is irredeemably dark, nihilistic, selfish. They will never help you. They will only help themselves. But hasn't, so, it, isn't it, hasn't Washington always been that way? I mean, is this really a surprise? Well, if it has to greater and lesser degrees always been that way. Tell me what it, what good it does for American office holders to look at America and say, this is what it is, now let me rub your face in it. <laughs> we no longer try to hide it. I mean, a part of your responsibility when you are a leader in politics and media in business is to try to be a good person, maintain a certain decorum, maintain a certain internal stature. If you cannot do it, it is your responsibility to fake it. Why? Because children are watching. They need something to reach at, something to be a little dreamy about. You know, something, I don't mind when people become cynical after a certain age, but you have to earn your cynicism. <laughs> you should not enter life at the age of 18 as a cynic and be surrounded by media that says everything is dark, hopeless, and humans are awful. And so you go through life with that attitude. But Peggy, maybe the politicians are reflecting what they see in the broader society, that it's impossible to hide what Washington is really like from anyone, from adults, from kids. They have access to social media, newspapers online, TV everywhere. I mean, aren't they simply telling it as it is? Why don't you just try to be a good person? <laughs> was Tom Coburn in that video? I mean, no, I don't wasn't. mean to make too much of a video. It's a video. People get sure. loosey-goosey. But it's not their job to be loosey-goosey. I also note in the piece I wrote about it, these fellows work in Washington three days a week. Then they go home and they work. But you know what? They don't work in Washington all that much. I think it was Bobby Jindal who said they ought to be paid per diem for what they do if they're going to legislate and try to hold oversight hearings and try to get your hands around America. You should be working more than three days. You shouldn't have two hours for the setup for the producers of House of Cards to go into your office, put makeup on you, and then you say cynical things to show that you are hip and have awesome groove velocity. Hip and awesome groove velocity. I think we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Declarations column is Peggy Noonan. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us.